Hey, and welcome to a Chicago Beer Pass beer review. And we're just missing the tamales with this beer. Yeah, man. Um, what'd you get here, Brad? Uh, we have a beer that Salmoth brewed with uh, the tamale guy. The tamale guy. Right, and it's called uh, the Tamale King. <laughs> <laughs> in, in English, we'll just go with that. Okay. Uh, but it's a hazy paleta pale ale. So strawberries, mango, chili. El rey de tamal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Um, so they brewed this beer after tamale got, got people like ratting them out for selling tamales uh, right when COVID were happening. So then he was like, all right, I'll open a restaurant. And yeah. then he got COVID. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> so and he was down. He was down yeah. for like a you know extended extended stay with the Rona. Yeah. yeah. So it was not good. And uh, Salmoth, you know, some of the proceeds go to help him with these medical bills. But he pulled out and survived. And I think his restaurant place is back going. Yeah, it's right over in um I want to say it's on Chicago, an old town like right Chicago Ave. Yeah, like that. I think somewhere over there. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I think uh, uh, buddy Jesse Mambicu, he's like friends with him, and like uh, you know, he was one of the first people there. So yeah, um, it's funny you or say that because friendly cause with them, I guess. His uh, <laughs> his collab with more the Feast City collab with more kind of reminds me, flavor wise of this. Just the description of those oh, flavors, okay. I was right? Like, oh, you already, you already went no, in. No, no, no. Just just because <laughs> remember, I feel like either either you had it or we had it or something. Yeah, or I had it. Okay. It's, yeah, man, that beer, that beer was really good. It was a mango thing with more, right? Yeah. Whew, that beer. I got mangoes just for the picture of the four that I took on Instagram for that beer. Hmm. Does it smell? I don't know. It smells good. Inviting. Whew. It smells All like right. it's going to be tart. That's weird. I would think I was maybe expecting more of like a lost palate. Kind of thing. I tell you, man. The um, what is this? It's a uh, well, it's a pale ale base, right? Right, but and they're then, saying it's a ha- it's a hazy paleta pale ale. So there's something smoky going on here, right? Right. Yeah. Is it the um, chili? Maybe strawberry it's, mango and chili. Well, maybe it's more of a like an ancho or an ancho chili. I mean, you're right. Chilies have a range, and smoky's in that range. But it's not a typical paletas flavor. When I when you get the, yeah, I'm when, not getting a de, a delight. Yeah, I want it to be kind of tangy and a little peppery, right? Yeah. But you know, well, this is a beer first and foremost, right? And I don't know what uh, I don't remember what the more beer was. What the base beer was? It like a sour? Was it a Berliner? I don't think it was a pale ale with fucking three it different options. Berliner or a half of ice. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then the 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 fire rabbit paletas, is that's not a pale ale, is it? The, um, they might just be like a light light ale kind. It might be a pale ale. I'm not sure, but, but th- this is different. And honestly, we were just drinking benthic, so our palates are very like dessert sweet heavy, and so we might be picking up more of that chili flavor or the uh, the harshness of it more so than the. Uh, I guess uh, dessert or, I don't know, lightness of the fruit flavors. I think you might be right. The Five Avid one is a uh, a wheat beer base. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, yeah, it's like, well, they're basically clear bottles, so they were. So. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, the hops, something about it is, is making, um, well, it smells like a paletas. Yeah. Right? Um, but something about the hops is kind of making that smoky flavor be the – it's smoke forward. Like, that's the prominent yeah, profile. I, there's something – like, they're fighting. Like, the hop, the chili, uh, the fruit, uh, they're not blending as – they blend in the aroma, but they don't blend yeah. the taste as well. I get um, what is kind of like a grapefruit bite and a little dryness at the end, right? I get that. Um it's totally different from what I was anticipating when I see the logo and I read the description. Right, when well you see basically an ice cream cone or ice cream on <laughs> there. <laughs> it's a little different from that. <laughs> it's a little different from that. Yeah. So 
But that's cool. But this is like a tribute beer, A, because there's a little paletas guy or the tamale guy. The tamale guy. Yeah. The tamale guy. Okay. The tamale king. <laughs> the tamale king. All right. That red cooler, man. He's like upgraded from just tamale guy to tamale yeah. king. And then, um, and this is for a good cause. And, you know, beer, that was the calling card for beer for a long time, right? It was like, all right, um, we want to make something delicious, but let's use that as a platform for a cause. Right. right? And I don't know if we are. Th- We've gone away from that. A for sure. little bit, yeah. At times we try to get into it and people are like, well, that's not that great. It's like, how ah, we're, they all don't have to be, you know, the best beers ever. And they all need to be unique too, so. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's fun. Uh, it's not something that I would reach for all the time, but I'm this glad. This is they, a single can purchase? They're four packs. Four pack. Are this is a mixed four pack? Uh, they're all the same. I wish they were different flavors. I thought they were different flavors, but they're all the strawberry, mango, and chili. I wish they had, you know, uh, a guava one and a uh, Let's get some peach. gin. Do we have any gin we can put in this? Or amp it up? A what, rum. Isn't it already like 6%? It's 5.5? Yeah. Whew. I don't know. It's fun. I think it's worth picking up to try and support. But the problem is... This is a brewery in Naperville helping out the tamale guy, although uh, those guys were in Chicago for so long, so they knew this tamale guy. Yeah, they've got the, the Logan people in fire. Naperville do not know who the tamale guy is. That's a fact. So it's a, it's a great cause, but I think the, the two don't go together where they are. That's a fair assessment. They do have the, uh, they do have the Chicago location that hasn't opened just yet. Um, and then also, much like Phase Three or in reverse, how the Beer Temple and uh, Dovetail go to the Burbs. Yeah. It's all the most one of those crews that selects days to come to the city. Yeah. So they do so, deliver here now. Yeah. So there is, there's, you know, there's a little bit of a connection there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, their heart's in the right place, and totally. we, we definitely need more of that. Definitely. Uh, so yeah, uh, check it out if you're over at Salmos and pick up a four pack or grabbing some beers, getting delivered. Give it a try. Okay. Cheers.